Previous Pope St. John Paul II cautioned that a radical Islam would attack Europe in a desperate forecast to a dear companion before he passed on. Those near St. John Paul II guarantee he was a spiritualist who frequently had dreams from God and made strikingly exact expectations about what's to come. LifeEssetonews.com reports, speaking to an extensive gathering at the isolation of holy people Peter and Paul this past October, Monsignor Moro Longhi of the Opus de Prelature related a discussion he had with a late pontiff in March of 1993 on one of their many climbing trips in the mountains. Having advanced beyond whatever is left of their mates, Longhi and St. John Paul took a sandwich break. In video film of the October talk, Longhi is heard saying that he saw that the holy person's hands were trembling. John Paul's Parkinson's infection had not yet been uncovered in 1993, the Pope saw the then young fellow's look. Dear Morrow, it's seniority, he clarified. Longhi bounced into state, be that as it may, no, holiness, you are youthful. It's not valid, the Pope snapped back. I say that I am old since I am old. Longhi proceeded with, at that point watched the changed tone, and making me aware of one of his evening time dreams, let me know, advise this to those whom you will meet in the church of the third thousand years. I see the church beset by a lethal scourge. More profound, more difficult and more lethal than those of this thousand years, alluding to, socialism and Nazi totalitarianism. It's called Islamism. They will attack Europe. I saw the crowds originating from the west toward the east, and he depicted to me the nations one by one, from Morocco to Libya to Egypt, etc. toward the eastern parts. The Holy Father included, they will attack Europe, Europe will resemble a basement, old relics, shadowy, webs. Family legacies. You, the Church of the Third Thousand Years, should contain the attack. Not with armed forces, armed forces won't get the job done but rather with your confidence, lived with uprightness. As Berlan wove a basola quotidiana, which softened the story up Italian, Longhi is a minister unquestionably sound, having appreciated the individual regard of John Paul II as well as of Benedict XVI, to such an extent that in 1997 he was called to the Vatican Dicastery of the Congregation for Clergy. Between 1985 and 1995 Longhi, who was appointed in 1995, went with John Paul II on his skiing and climbing trips, facilitating him at Opus Dis late spring home in Abruzzo, which at the time was just a basic house in the wide open. Longhi told the group that upon refused to escape Rome in a humble auto for these excursions, joined by his own secretary, Monsignor Stanislaw Zawiz, and a couple of other Polish companions. At the point when the auto halted at a toll booth, the one place in which somebody may remember him, Father Wojtyla would put on a show to be profoundly engaged in the daily paper he held before his face. John Paul II was broadly a competitor, that he was additionally a spiritualist is substantially less known. All things considered, as indicated by Long Wova Basola Quotidiana, Longhi related that John Paul could be found during the evening on his knees previously the tabernacle in the sanctuary of the house in the mountains. The individuals who lived in the house could hear him talking, now and again even animatedly with the Lord or with his adored mother, the Virgin Mary. Besides, Longhi said that John Paul's most noteworthy companion, Cardinal André Descur, had revealed to him that the holy person had the endowment of dreams. YouTube Film 031 in 5 seconds, when Longhi asked what that implied, Descur stated, he addresses God incarnate, Jesus, he sees his face and he sees additionally the substance of his mom. Evidently these dreams started at Kerala Wajdala's first Mass, November 2, 1946, in the sepulcher of St. Leonard in Wall Cathedral in Krakow, amid the elevation of the host. Despite the fact that John Paul II has in some cases been named the Pope of Islam, and traditionalists have since quite a while ago despised photographs of the holy person kissing the Quran, La Nuova Basola Quotidiana holds that these disclosures don't negate his comments in his now overlooked 2003 encyclical Ecclesia in Europa. The diary watches that the Holy Father appeared to entreat Christians to be prepared in a target information of Islam. In Ecclesia in Europe, 
John Paul II composed that. 57. An appropriate association with Islam is especially critical. As has frequently turned out to be apparent as of late to the bishops of Europe, this should be directed wisely, with clear thoughts regarding potential outcomes and limits, and with trust in God's sparing arrangement for every one of his youngsters. It is likewise important to consider the prominent hole between European culture, with its significant Christian roots, and Muslim idea. In such manner, Christians living in day-by-day -day contact with Muslims ought to be legitimately prepared in a target learning of Islam and empowered to draw examinations with their own confidence. Such preparing ought to be given especially to seminarians, clerics and every peaceful specialist. It is then again justifiable that the Church, even as she requests that the European foundations guarantee the advancement of religious flexibility in Europe should want to demand that correspondence in ensuring religious opportunity likewise be seen in nations of various religious conventions, where Christians are a minority. In this unique circumstance, one can comprehend the wonder and the sentiment dissatisfaction of Christians who welcome, for instance in Europe, adherents of different religions, giving them the likelihood of practicing their love and who see themselves taboo all activity of Christian love in nations where those devotees are in the greater part and have made their own religion the just a single conceited and advanced. The human individual has a privilege to religious flexibility, and all individuals, in all aspects of the world, ought to be insusceptible from intimidation with respect to people, social gatherings and each human power. La Nuova Basola Quotidiana is by all accounts mindful of the waves that its article will make with these disclosures. The closing passage of its article about Monsignor Longhi's October 22 introduction watches that we are gone up against with a politically mistaken perusing of the Islamic marvel by a pope consecrated by the Catholic Church. The diary calls this perusing both prophetic and authoritative, and recommends that the anticipated attack may as of now be going on. It closes. In the meantime, relentlessly, the lights are going out on Christian Europe, lessened to a storm cellar loaded with old relics and spider webs. Carol the Great has talked, and much more today he welcomes us to oppose the attack with the confidence lived completely.